what's going on y'all <laughs> another cell phone video i just don't listen when it get good next week i'll get back on camera camera for real but this is real housewives of new jersey season seven episode um what is this episode 10 cut the cancer out so basically you know it really wasn't nothing we got um I think Dolores and Siggy going talking to uh, Kathy and um, Rosie about what's going on between, um, or no, or Jackie, whatever. They went to go talk to Rosie and Kathy, whoever the fuck it was. And basically, Kathy and Rosie and their feelings about certain stuff and Jacqueline. Yeah, Jacqueline was there too. Okay, because Jacqueline was the one who was like, you know, the same reason why... Uh, What's her name? Teresa is pissed off that them, she's done it to them too, okay? They've all said stuff about each other. They've all said stuff about each other's families, but Teresa is the one that holds on to the grudges more, okay? And they were talking about how, you know, well, um, she forgave uh, Melissa, so how come she can't forgive her family? But you have to remember, when Melissa and um, Joe first got on this show, they was going at it for at least three, almost four seasons before they got to the point where they at now, okay? And most likely was going at it more before the season that they came on even happened. So it's going to take some goddamn time with Teresa, you know. Um, she, it's not like she just forgave them easily and they got back on track real quick. No, it's not like that. But I will say that Teresa is being petty. Teresa is being petty when it comes to this situation that's going on with, um, you know, Kathy and 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 um, Rosie. You know about. I understand they said something about your mother, but see, here's the thing. You can call Kathy, well, you can call Rosie, especially anything that you want to call her. You know, you can say she a wild animal sometimes. You can say she just get pissed off all the time or whatever. But when Rosie do some shit, Rosie apologized. And like she did in this episode, she owned all her shit. She wasn't trying to really backtrack and all that. She knew she fucked up on some stuff. She apologized and, you know, it is what it is. But see, Teresa, she's not there yet. And I can also understand that. You can't make a person want to do something just because you're ready to do something. Everybody has to be on the same accord. So just because you want to let shit go, that does not mean that, you know, the other party involved is ready to do that, you know, and that's what's going on. Teresa's going to hold on to that hurt for a minute. Plus, she's dealing with the shit that's going on with Joe and... That's basically what it is. You know, Joe being a dick to her because he's about to leave. And then, you know, you got family issues too. And she basically was telling them she just wanted to cut the cancer out because she was tired of talking about it. When Jacqueline brought it up to her, you know, she was like, I don't want you talking about my fucking family. I thought they was going to get into it right then and there. But it didn't happen. Siggy was, I know Siggy trying to play peacemaker, but she just didn't know everything that was going on, you know, um, to make uh, everything as bad as it is now and, and get where they're coming from. But she's heard another side when she went over there to, um, you know, Kathy and Rich house. Let me tell you something. Rich is a dick, okay? He really is a dick. And then to have Joe and them over there and then for you to say that shit in front of them, talk about some, um, you know, him and Kathy got love. That's why Teresa mad basically implying he was implying that Joe don't care about her. Um, or they just there to be there. Okay. And Joe Gorga called that shit. And I'm so glad that he stood up for his sister in this moment. Okay. And I'm so glad to Melissa was standing up too, you know, because that was kind of fucked up and rude. And this is why people don't like you sometimes. Um, um, what's your name is Richie, because you do too fucking much. It's your mouth. And I can understand what Teresa is coming from when she told Kathy that and Kathy had the nerve to get in her feelings. But Kathy, let me tell you something. Your husband can be a dick. Okay. He really, can he can be funny but also he can be a dick okay and in that moment he was being an asshole rosie once again exploding and i'm sitting here like y'all saying y'all not finna beg for nobody to be your friend or to be you know to talk to you whatever but that's exactly what it seemed like you're doing okay you're trying to force the issue that clearly she's not ready to confront yet all right so when she's ready she'll come to you let it the fuck go let her do it on her own time and you know worry about something that's more important like your family okay that's basically it and i appreciate the fact that they left it the way that they left it when they had that dinner at the end the lunch at the end it was you know a little heated but it got cordial okay nobody was cursing each other out they left it on a cordial calm note okay 
uh, she crying in the car and all that shit. It's crazy. You know, sometimes family go through that. You don't talk for a while, and then sometimes you come back and you're okay. That's how it is, okay? I understand that. And it was cute to see Ashley get engaged and all that and um, Dolores and her gym. And that was basically the episode. I guess the shit finna pop off next week in Vermont. But y'all tell me how y'all feel. Yes, another short-ass five-minute video. And um, I'll tell y'all. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Peace.